the news has continued to snowball that he wants out at PSG? Not really. I mean, yeah, a few people have reported that, not that he's been certainly confirmed by him or the club or anything like this. Yesterday, last night, again, he was discussing the transfer window and the start of next season at PSG. So, of course, Daniel Levy called him, and I think there was certainly an idea from Tottenham's point of view to try to bring him back to the club. But that's, that's, that's all that happened, really. The two clubs have not spoken. Spurs never called yeah. PSG, never called Leonardo, and Leonardo has been saying again, he will be with us. We, we're not going to let him go anyway. So I think Conte was maybe another option, maybe the first option, maybe the second option right. after Pochettino. But Pochettino, is, I don't think will happen anyway. So what, what's going so on, Jules? Is a good the, plan. The, the phrase, uh, no smoke without fire, comes to mind because if it was as simple as that, Pochettino comes out and he says, I will be here. I don't know where these stories are coming from. I'm committed to PSG. Simple. Why not just do that, shut everyone up and we all move on? You're right, that's a good question. And the only thing he did, he was posting a photo of himself on social media with a PhD shirt. That's all he did. And it's clearly not enough, for sure. I think he's clearly unhappy by certain side at the club and, and probably not so much his relationship with Leonardo, but more with Leonardo's assistant. He's number two, who is very influential within the club. And I think... Poch being so, um, he lacks the discipline. Everything has to be structured. Everything has to be square. And that's certainly not the case in Paris or hasn't been the case in the last six months since he's joined the club. So I think on that level, he's been a bit disappointed by the things that he's seen, even sometimes not involving him, but f that he, he noticed from afar. And I think there's a lot of things that he wants sorted out before the next season starts. And, and we discussed but, it with Gab as well. Maybe this, it's a way too to get a new deal because that's certainly something that at the club, they feel that he was, he was hinting for yeah but then we are just saying that uh to underline what what uh Jürgen is talking about we are actually talking about two different candidates that are very very different so the two candidates tottenham will have is pochettino and conte i mean how can you start to have an identity a culture at the club and then you will the consequence of that identity is conte or pochettino I mean, that, that should never happen. Then you should have two or three candidates <laughs> in the kind of, kind of same cult, culture. And that is what I th think is unbelievable. When Conte comes in for Tottenham, you have to build up a winning culture. I mean, we've seen this week with Chelsea got. Gab makes a very good point that after the 10th place for Mourinho, he managed to win the title for Chelsea uh, through. But they have a culture of winning trophies. Tottenham doesn't have that. So you need to build that up. And then you have to ask yourself as a club, is Conte the right one to, to make that culture of two, three years? The answer is probably no. And it just shows you two candidates, Conte or Pochettino. Oh, please. Gab, are you as bullish as Jules that this is, not, this is nothing, this isn't even a story? Pochettino will be at PSG next season? I mean, look, Pochettino was linked with Real Madrid. So if you were to ask me, like, you know, would he tantrum and say, you got to let me go to Real Madrid? Sure. But with all due respect to Tottenham Hotspur, they're not Real Madrid. Um, so I think my reading is, is very simple. I, I think it's about, we talked about the Gavin Joshua, it's about the new deal. Uh, he's got a year left. And, you know, you could say, oh, I'll just work your contract. We'll see about it later. But, you know, he would argue, look, I, I had a good run in the, in, 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 the, in the Champions League and whatnot. And every manager of a top club, you know, generally has more than one year left when he go, going into the season. Uh, it gives me more authority. It shows more faith in me. Um, give me a new deal, give me another year, uh, give me some assurances maybe vis-a-vis -vis Mbappe and whatever. And I think that's why he's not shooing away those stories linking him to Real Madrid, those stories linking him to the Spurs. I'm not sure. I, I can't imagine him, frankly, leaving Paris Saint-Germain now with a, unless something changes at the club um, for Tottenham. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.